A Royal Queen's Christmas is a really good film. This was released in 2021. It's directed by Lee Friedlander and this stars Megan Park as Dee Dee and Julian Morris as Colin or Prince Colin. Uh, and when it comes to Christmas films that are about royal princes, they're usually princes with a, a commoner, if you like, being the, the female protagonist. And they can be hit or miss. They can either be really, really good or really bad. It's rare that they're in the middle ground. And this one, thankfully, is really good. Colin is visiting the area and he meets Dee Dee and he he actually kind of inconveniences her when, when they first meet. I won't explain exactly what happens, but I liked the way they met. I thought it was a very organic way for them to have their first encounter. And... They then meet again and Colin kind of owes Dee Dee a favour because of what he did. But Dee Dee doesn't know that Colin is a prince and he's decided not to make this information known because he wants to be seen as normal. He wants to be treated like a normal person rather than bowed down to as this royalty. And obviously, as they spend time together, the sparks begin to fly. The romantic aspect of the rom-com really starts to come out. And I really believed... Their relationship, I thought it developed at a really steady pace. I didn't think it was over the top or unbelievable. I really enjoyed that part of the narrative. The other part of the narrative focuses on the fact that Colin is due to take over from his father. His father, the king, is going to retire. And of course, Colin is required by birth to step up. But he's not ready to do that. He's passionate about music. He wants to be doing his own thing, walking down his own path. And he's battling with these conflicting emotions about following his heart and doing what he believes is his duty. And he's also potentially being pushed into a, not necessarily an arranged marriage, but definitely a a forced relationship. And it's causing a lot of complications for him. And he's got a lot of problems to sort out. Meanwhile, he's also trying to keep up this false identity. Colin is definitely the more complex, fascinating character of the two. That's not to say Dee Dee is boring, but Dee Dee is pretty straightforward. And I think that works quite well. Having most of the weight on Colin's story, that's not often the case with rom-coms. I find that with Christmas rom-coms, most of the focus and the lead protagonist is the female and the narrative is told mostly through her perspective but with this one most of it is Colin and and that works so well and I really enjoyed that so the characters are great the acting is great the narrative as a whole is really entertaining it definitely has a strong holiday feel to it it's maybe not the most Christmassy that's not to say there's no Christmas in it and we do have some Christmas songs but it's not one that's full of Christmas trees and presents and decorations. There's some of that. There's enough of that for it to be called a Christmas film. But it's definitely more holiday than Christmas, if that makes sense. But I really enjoyed it. If you particularly like Christmas rom-coms or holiday rom-coms that are about princes or princesses teaming up with a commoner, if you like, then this is definitely one to watch. I really thoroughly enjoyed it. I can't imagine I'd ever watch it again. But... At the same time, there's nothing about it that didn't work for me and I'm very happy to recommend it.